outer critic sabotages intimacy through unrealistic expectations for perfection. Or the outer critic is looking for any imperfection. And the outer critic is projecting an expectation that you deserve safety. You go into a place you just expect safety. Safety isn't because you develop and cultivated long-term relationships. It's just you go into a place, you say you deserve safety, and it comes if it doesn't. You hold people accountable by setting boundaries and just demanding safety. <laughs> and just testing everybody, constantly shit-testing people to see if they're perfect. <laughs> That's how the outer critic sabotages intimacy. But perfection and safety is something that is cultivated, that's nurtured, that comes out of relationships that are healthy. <laughs> that's an after effect after you have an embedded, consistent building of trust and trusting patterns of interaction. Then you have the reward of safety <laughs> and perfection. You're going towards more perfection, perfected relationship because people are consistent with each other which develops trust and then you have patterns of interaction so people are familiar and you trust people's patterns safety trust gradual vulnerability leads to intimacy there's a progression of a linear formula for your outer critic <laughs>